Hi there, it's Terry from Terry B Fantasy Crafts. Fantasy Crafts. Um, we're on take two, so I've actually started this little project. And um, the reason we're on take two is because I'd started and I wasn't recording. So here, we, so there we go. <laughs> anyway, we had, um, or oh, we're having a unicorn day in the Terry. Terry's Creating Corner, which is my group on Facebook. Um, it's Unicorn Day on the 9th of April. Um, if you're watching today, it's the 9th of April 2019. And um, as I say, we're having a, um, a Unicorn Day. So if you'd like to pop over to Facebook to my um, group, which is Terry's Terry's creating corner um, and take a look right instead of waffling let me get on so this is what I made for unicorn day so let's see around it and I did say that I would um, show how to make one so while I'm still chatting I'll put this down. I said I'd show how to make one, um, but I'm not actually going to use um, unicorns. This one is actually from all these um, things I've cut out are actually from where the unicorns roam, which is um, Magic Graphics, of course. Uh, let's put that out of my way. Just bear with me a second. There we go. Okay, um, I'm actually going to make one with um, dragons, and that's from where, not where, it's from a dragon's realm. Okay, so what I've got is um, a piece of card, um, and it's from an A3 card, so I've cut that down to 15 inches across and seven 15 inches long seven inches across now it's going to make a seven by seven card so it'll go in a seven by seven um envelope if you want to make it eight by eight then just adjust the side um outwards to make it an eight by eight and you will have to add on an inch this way as well so you're just adding an inch all the way around i think that's right so um we're going to score at two centimeters four do four two centimeters so it's one two three four um as i said i did start it and i've already scored one but that was when i realized that we weren't recording but we are now i can see so i've done one at two inches and then one at four inches and it's six inches And one I'll just get in there at eight inches. There we go. I shouldn't need that anymore. There. So what we're doing um, is let's see if I got that there, is we're gonna make these um, folds. So if we go from here, that's by there, so we're folding it like that and then the concertina concertina in up and down so i hope you could get that basically you're folding up down up and down it's a bit awkward showing you this way um, but it was the best I could get for you to be able to look at what I'm doing. Okay, so you're going to wonder why there's nothing there, but we'll we'll get on to attaching that at the end. I think if I've got the card, I'm making myself think now. Anyway, I've um, cut out um, a backing sheet, um, one of the backing papers from. This one's from Magic Graphics Moonlight Wonders, actually, because I thought um, that would look quite nice with the um, dragons. Um, and that is actually going to go by there. I'm using this Tim Holtz mat, which I love. So we can stick that there. Oh, let's see if we want it. Now, I use um, 
Cosmic Shimmer, but I'm also um, using this Kalal um, because I find it doesn't give any bubbles, whereas I do get some with that. So, um, and I've got a pack of these cheap spreaders. I think I got them from Hobbycraft, and I love them. So we're literally just putting some glue around around the edges, not too much on the edges, because I'm now going to start spreading it. And you can just take it away from. I hope you can see I'm not watching the monitor. See if I can bring it in a bit. Um, I don't know if you can see the glue is starting to dry. It dries pretty quickly. Okay. And literally what I'm doing, as you can see, is spreading it back from the edges. I'll go down if there's not too much by the side of it. Because this way, this way it won't seep out either. And I find that the um, to spread it, if you try it with the Cosmic Shimmer, um, it dries too quickly. So you're not spreading out. Mind, this is drying pretty quickly, but not as quick as the um, Cosmic Shimmer. Right, so this is the way, so I'll glue on it. Make sure I put it up the right way because I've been known not to. And by using wet glue, of course you can you can you don't have to use wet glue, but by using wet glue you can actually sort of wiggle it round. I think I've cut this isn't quite eight inches, but it doesn't matter. There you go. As you can see, nothing has come out over the edges, so we'll cool it. So we've got that beautiful background. If I come back out, you probably I'll never um, be a photographer, but I. There we go. Right, um, now on this card, I actually um, put some uh, glitter card there. Um, this was sort of like something I was trying in. I sort of cut a circle and then half moon, oh, made it into a moon and around so I could put some flowers in, um, give a unicorn behind. But I'm not going to put any... Um, flowers on here in fact I'm gonna it's gonna be rather a quick um, run hopefully so the next thing I want to do is work out where the dragons are going help if I show you the dragons with me yeah quite a piece of paper now the dragons that I've cut out um, from a dragon's realm they actually have decoupage on there so these smaller ones um i've actually sort of um cut out from the decoupage because that one would then go by there and then there was a bigger full of um, picture with them um, and i'm going to keep these because i can use it for later or for something else because that's that one so you do get the decoupage on um, this particular CD. And then I've taken this one from one of the toppers. He's amazing, isn't he? Lovely. So what I'm going to do is try and make sure you can see, first of all. That's better. Um, I think we have him. Yeah, he's got to be my bed, hasn't he? And then we can put him, probably fit him both in the middle, or should we have him by there? 
yeah let's go for that so now what I'll do is use this because I find it easier to go um, to do this around the edges okay, just go quickly again I was going to say let me know if you can't see but you can't tell me can you be too late so let's look. See that, can't you? Stick him right there. Now I'm going to leave him sort of flapping if you like. And you can even sort of round the faff with that after later. Right. So we've got him on there. Now, as I say, you can add um, more bits and pieces if you want to, but I'm just showing you basically very quickly how to do this. So he is going to go, I think I'm going to right, move him up a bit to the top. Yeah. Now I've put too much glue on, but... But it'll dry and it's not going to be stuck to anything so so far we've got him and him and then we're going to have him probably about there yep i'm just wondering where to put the stones on first now i'm going to go around him so i'm just going to stick um is feet and and his hands yes i know they're not hands really Could have done with a stronger piece of uh, card, really, with this one. Yeah, it's going to be okay. So all going to work out fine. I think I put glue on there where I don't need to. So that it doesn't stick over there. Okay. So this is what we've got so far. Can you just about see? I think I could have actually done a bit better with this dragon, but um, I'm going to leave this for now. I might actually take him off later and move him over a bit so you can see him from behind there, or I might move him across. Yeah. It's awkward, well, it's awkward for me doing this on here. Because um, I normally, what I normally like to do is, is faff about and sort of um, look at what I'm doing. Um, but I've had to sort of make a quick decision while I'm doing it here. So next we have um, the little bits and pieces of stone. And I bought this whole um, thing in Hobbycraft, and I think it was around about three or four pounds. I'm sure it wasn't much more than four. It might have been five, but um, you can actually, I want to show you the make, but you can actually get um, sort of these. And the cost is more or less um, similar. It might even be more. Um, these are, oops. So sort of like little balls um but th these stones will do the trick just as well now i've got all these little things all floating on my desk so um, 
tuning the camera down a bit so you can actually see what I'm going to be doing. Now basically when I did this, the other one, what I did, let's that out of the way, was I just got some um, glue. And literally just went round just like that and then comes the fun bit should have actually done that in there shouldn't I Ooh. This is this is sort of the fun bit is putting it away after this not. If I'd have been clever I'd have put a bit of paper into there, wouldn't I? Then I'll just I'll pat it in very gently. <laughs> Bash them in. There we go. And we left them a few minutes as we tied the dip. What I might actually do with this one, I might actually um, paint it, paint them black. Now you can see there's loads and loads of stones there, but they're not obviously going to be all on there when we finished. Put some more on because this bits of glue still you can see. I can see, but I'm hoping that you can too. I don't know if it made any difference, is it? See some glue by there. I I can assure you this is faster than watching um, paint dry. The glue will dry a lot faster. In fact, it will probably be okay to move now. Yep. Let me just get all this out of the way. I'm going to leave it back in there all over my desk so I should have had a paper but I'm sure Tim Holtz didn't um didn't design it for this but it's just as good look at that I'm grinning like a Cheshire cat And there we have that. Oh, then a few stones here and there. Still falling off. Obviously, you would leave it to dry a little bit longer than I have. So, this is what we have now um, make sure if you can see that as you as i said i mean this dragon needs moving or he move, needs moving over there a bit and yes the stones are still coming off but they're because they're pointed up that way now what i have done is i've done some um cutting out of um sort of greenery this black um, and I'm actually going to um, put that in somewhere, but before I do, I'm actually going to, because it would be easier if I put the back of the card on. So the back of the card, what I've done is I've measured um, almost um, seven across, and I've got about an inch or so longer. Um, the one I did um, with this one I'd only sort of done 
a little bit of the way down rather than the whole length. Now this is going to be the more or less the whole length. Um, but we'll see if, if that works. So I'm going to have to put a little pen mark. I should have a pencil really. Yeah. I'm going to have these stones all over the place now forever. Just doing a little mark where where the um, green card comes to. So just put a little mark by there. And then what I will do is let that dry off a bit. And bring this in and score it. You see. There's the um, score mark. Okay. Just put that by there. Now I did originally put some um, heavy high tack tape on, um, but I wasn't sure that it did actually move a bit. Oh, let me try it again. This card is quite um, thick. I don't know if I said that at the beginning. It's quite thick because the other one, um, the green that I used, was um, not as thick, so therefore it probably wouldn't have held it. But obviously, I mean, you can cover this. Um, I left mine white, obviously, because nobody was going to see the back unless they were watching the video and show on um, the things I was showing online. Just get them off. Um, and then I'm going to put some glue on here, not only um, so that I can wiggle it around, but it might actually strengthen it a bit because this, is, this glue is quite good for sticking things together. And always um, keep this, if you've got one of these, you should keep it um, flat so that um, all the, I was going to say ink, ink then, all the glue doesn't go down and it'll always be there ready for you. Um, yeah, so. And I just line that up with that. I don't particularly want the white to be seen at the top. Okay. And they are, they've stopped falling off now. Um, give them a little bit of a press. Uh -huh. One, a couple more did have to fall, didn't they? It, um, they will, they will um, eventually stay because, as you can see, with that one, nothing's coming off that one at all. So, all the ones it's going to drop off have. Right now, you will see with that one that we've got some green around there, and basically, what I used for that was. Um, this which is also my care. I can't remember that that has literally fallen because um, this is glass. Okay. I'm taking everything from behind it and they want to stay. Um, I can't remember where I got this from. I think I got it from one of the shows. But if I've got those stones which is the same sort of make in Hobbycraft, I'm sure you can get that there or something similar. I can't remember how much it was. It comes out um, like this. I believe they're probably used for model railways. Um, and all I did was just put a line of glue like I did there and started sticking sticking it. Um, just I put glue. Sorry. <laughs> I glued all around there. And then just started pushing that on like, like I did with this. Now I'm deliberately not doing that with this at the moment I might eventually I don't know um, but I'm not because I'm thinking of actually um, painting these with gesso 
and possibly put in some um, red uh, glitter or embossing powder on so that it looks sort of like um, he's coming out of a volcano um, if I do decide to do that um, the reason I'm not doing it now is because I haven't got any water um, um, my, I haven't got the gesso to hand and my, my brushes are all behind my computer over there so that is the reason I'm not doing it now anyway as I said I've um, cut out um, some bits of foliage which I'm going to attach one or two now so I should have one. I'm going to put one I'm just literally going to put a little bit on the back that's a big bit um, I'm just going to stick that by there so you can just see coming out there. I think I put a little bit too much glue on there. And I haven't got my little bottle with me because I've been um, quilling with that. Um, put some more by there. You can't see. I can't do crafting on the go. I need to know what I was gonna, what I had in mind before I do it. Um, yeah. By there. What should we have? One. No, I'm going to leave it like that for now, and then I can fat later. So as I say, I don't, I'm not very good at crafting on the go. I normally take ages and ages to do something, but you actually can get the gist. Can you see the top of that as well? And there we have it. A nice simple card that looks extremely effective and as I say that is going down like that because of the glass mat and we need to make it stiffer um, I think this card that I've used is around about 300 gram whereas this I would say is probably about 150 might be a bit more um, so yeah but this is will fold up now and fit into um, envelope but um i think you probably are going to need one of the like decoupage ones um or if you own um an envelope box from crafters companion you can probably make your own but um it will actually i would expect it will fit in there these stones are still falling off so i'm going to actually leave it alone now and um, lift up this to come back to you okay and hope that you can see me let me just test in my yeah I think so just about <laughs> it's hilarious isn't it <laughs> do it yourself videoing <laughs> okay that's it then for um, today I hope you've enjoyed it um, I'm going to be coming back with um, some more I think one of the next ones on my list is going to be a pop-up box for weddings so that should be fun as well and um, see you soon. Bye.